And you know, Kristen, before making her way to Washington Parish, Deputy Secretary Krista Hardin was in New Orleans for the third annual Women in Agribusiness Summit. More than 500 women in attendance learned about personal branding and how regulatory issues impact their business. And you know, if it's in the Crescent City, Twyla's A.J. Sabine just has to be there. A.J.? Hey, Avery. Hey, Kristen. I'm here at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in New Orleans for the Women in Agribusiness, as well as the Oilseed and Grain Trade Summit also going on here. And just moments ago, USDA Deputy Secretary Krista Hardin spoke to conferees about advancing their careers. She encouraged them to be empowered, and she also encouraged them to network. She says that networking is a powerful tool to help women advance their careers forward. Before hundreds of career-minded women, USDA Deputy Secretary of Agriculture Krista Hardin told conferees the value of finding mentors and role models during her ascent up the ranks at the USDA. Hardin, who grew up on a farm in southwest Georgia, says these agribusiness women should take advantage of opportunities created by this conference. Um, networking, I think, is a big part of that. Mentoring, if you are a seasoned um, veteran and you already kind of had your path and you're lucky enough to have um, an important title and be able to hire and make a difference for young women, making sure you're building that team, that you're selecting women, you're empowering women, creating roles and positions for women. And if you're young and you're just starting, what a room full of mentors and role models that is just fabulous. Learning leadership framed the third annual Women in Agribusiness Summit. WIA Director Joy O'Shaughnessy says this conference helps these women see what's possible. This conference is a professional conference, not a conference about being a woman. It's about taking a women's perspective and applying it to our industry, which as women are uh, represent 85% of those who purchase food for a household, we are the clients. We are the end users of agriculture and food products. So our viewpoints are important and the industry needs to embrace our thoughts and our styles uh, in order to be successful. Bayer Crop Science Communications head Beth Rosen says it's imperative for women to share ideas and build relationships during this conference. I think having those relationships and relying on each other to uh, mitigate through your growth as a career in ag business is, is so important and this is such a great place to do this. This is my first time being here. Our company, uh, Bayer, has been a sponsor and been active in this conference for the last three years and I'm, I'm surprised at how many people are here. From dynamic speakers to informative discussions, women in every phase of their career have a place at the WIA Summit. University of Kentucky student um, Xavier Gantz came to be inspired. And my aspiration is to initiate a nonprofit that focuses on food deserts and impoverished communities. Um, there's women from all over the place that are working for Fortune 500 companies. There's also entrepreneurs here that initiated their own way. So what better way to figure out what I want to do than hearing other people's stories and kind of taking bits and pieces to build my own way and gain mentors through the process. Women in Agribusiness Advisory Board member Gretchen Miller-Bush says conferees and attendants should realize how much they can contribute to the agribusiness community. One of the greatest things that's coming out of this is the women here are looking around and seeing, you know, I'm not alone in this industry. And um, they're making friends, they're making connections, they're engaging on a professional level, but more importantly, they're engaging on a personal level. They're finding new friends, new confidants, new mem mentors, um, new sponsors, and, and hopefully new opportunities. You know, guys, another big topic here at the Oil, Seed, and Grain Trade Summit is animal protein. I'm sure many of you have gone to the grocery store and you've noticed that both chicken and beef, the prices have gone up just a bit. Well, next week, I'll be speaking to a restaurant expert as well as an industry expert. We'll kind of fill in the blanks as to why prices have started to move up. But you got to watch next week, and I'll show you why you need to be paying attention. Oh, we're looking forward to that story. Thanks, AJ. And you know, we have a lot left to look forward to here because still to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, what's all the buzz about in Metairie? It's a global bee celebration. And in my Ag Minute, the really cool side of cotton. Stay with us.